This is a UDAC4 by HP9DRI at linkrf.ch. It's a prototype. Uh, very small changes will be required on the final board, I think. I'm running it now uh, from a WSE RX 2500 converter. This thing. It is designed for the Delta 44, so I have made some small adjustments to one of the channels in this unit. I have reduced the gain right after the mixer by changing these resistors, 680 and 340 ohms, to be instead 180 and 360 ohms. That reduces the gain a little bit. And I have also reduced the impedances on the output amplifier. Uh, these resistors are 3.3 kilo ohms. There are four of them. One, two, uh, three, and four. I changed them all to 560 ohms. And that reduces the noise by something like one and a half dB. I have a crystal oscillator on 2.509 and I have set it uh, to show 0 dBm to have a reference for the carrier and you can see it indicates roughly 0 for both channels. Uh, the input margin is 1.34 dB on the channel that I have modified. The other one is 1 dB and that's because I have a 5 dB attenuator. Uh, on the second channel. Uh, I listen 10 kilohertz from this frequency, 2519 here, and I want the RMS power. I mean, here we had zero, and here we have minus 126 dB in the first channel and minus 123 in the second. And if I switch off the signal like that very little difference I wait a little so I get this reading at the center of the screen. But it's about 1 dB. That is the reciprocal mixing and maybe the sideman noise of the oscillator or maybe a combination thereof. It is... oh, it went from 126 down to 128. Uh, in the modified channel and in the original channel it went down to minus 124. So uh, the bandwidth I have set it accurately to 1 kilohertz from here to here. Uh, so what I see is uh, the best is 158 dBc per hertz. That is with the modified uh, channel on the RX2500 and the original channel uh, with the attenuator in front of it to get saturation at the same point. That does of course not affect the dynamic range. It is 155 dBc per hertz. So there is a 3 dB difference. Uh, questionable whether it's worth the trouble but if you want to use this as a test instrument to do measurements, it could well be. Now I'm using the entire WSE converter chain. Uh, I'm listening to an oscillator on 14.158 MHz. And you can see there is some modulation from my voice. There is microphony components are shaking while I'm speaking out loud. Uh, well. Uh, the signal level is set here, as you can see, to show 
close to zero for both channels uh, and I go away some about 10 kilohertz and here is the noise floor and this is while the strong signal is present and I wait a little bit and the level is minus 123 and a half for the modified channel 1 and minus 121.8 for the one which only has an attenuator. Uh, I remove this strong signal. You can see here nothing happened, but at this frequency the noise floor went down a little. So now it is 1 dB lower and means the dynamic range for the entire chain is minus 155 it reads 154.7 well minus 155 so I have lost 3 dB in dynamic range by putting the converters in front I have added a 3 dB attenuator in both channels to get this result I'm now listening to a signal at minus 100 dBm, uh, this thing. I fed it into the RxHFA channel 1 and there is nothing on channel 2. Uh, and then I switch it off. And look here for signal level is here. Minus 101.4. And the noise floor is here, minus 125.3. That is uh, 24 dB. So means with 1 kilohertz bandwidth, we are at minus 154 dBc per hertz. Means noise figure is 20 decibels. Uh, I can increase the gain in the HFA by pressing here and I clean the screen and I wait for a while so I get the noise reading first and then I switch on the signal like that So here is the noise floor and here is the signal level. We now have 23.6 minus, well, plus 10. That is 33.6 dB. Uh, and that is nearly 10 dB better. So the noise figure is now in the order of 10 dB, which would be perfectly adequate. But dynamic range has now become a little bit lower. Uh, note the noise floor uh, which we had at minus 123.6. Saturation should still be at the same point uh, as before. I haven't changed anything on that. So that is uh, minus 153 dBc per hertz in dynamic range but that's not with the strong signal present so there is another dB for reciprocal mic thing or so anyway this is much better than I had with the Delta 44 it's about a 10 dB improvement and the modification I did on the uh, RX 2500 made a very small difference it's the difference between it's the difference in noise floor between the channels you can see here and that's 1 dB 
So I would say it's not worth it. Just put attenuators in front of the uh, RX 2500. Or if you don't, you will get a lower noise figure.